Hey guys, in this video we'll be proving the Pythagorean theorem. So the arrangement we've got here is a small square incremented into a larger square. And as a result, we've got four right angle triangles which are all identical. So firstly, we're going to look at the triangle here in the top left. And I'm going to label this side as A, and then the longer side as B, and the hypotenuse as C. So now we want to set up an equation relating all the areas inside the square. Now we know that the short side of the triangle is A, and all of these triangles are identical, which means that this side length here is also going to be A. So the total length of this side is going to be A plus B. And that means that the area of the blue square will be A plus B squared. Now we can also express this as the area of the purple square plus the area of the four triangles. So this is going to equal, now the area of the purple square is going to be C times C, because all of these lengths are just C. So this will be c squared plus, now if you look at the area of one triangle, the formula is a half times the base times the height. Now the base is a and the height is b. So this is going to give us a half a b. And we've got four of these triangles, so this is going to equal four times a half a b. So now let's expand these brackets here. This gives us a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. And this equals c squared plus 4 times a half is just 2. So this will be plus 2ab. And what do you notice? The 2ab's cancel out. So we're left with a squared plus b squared equals c squared. How cool is that? We've proved the Pythagorean theorem in three lines. 